NBA 2K fans, Pats 3 has dropped for NBA 2K25. I'm Pete Toll, a.k.a. PT Sports 84. Let's jump right into the player likeness updates. So just a heads up before anyone asks me. So we have not gotten a roster update yet to go with this update. So this is before the roster update. So just quick disclaimer, if there's any players that currently have generic faces that have the appearance tab available, they might get updated in the roster update today or tomorrow. So if they do, I will put another video out showing who got updated that way. But for now, these are the updates that are available in NBA 2K25. Let's jump right into it. So first up, we have the Philadelphia 76ers and Paul George. So let's jump into it really quickly. So Paul George has his new haircut right there. You can see Paul George updated. Next, we have the Milwaukee Bucks and Gary Trent Jr. I'm not quite sure with this one. With Gary Trent Jr., there's multiple styles, but it feels like this one already, maybe it's just the head width, because look at the headband being a little bit bigger. Maybe that's what they changed, so it looks a little bit cleaner. I'm um, not really sure. If they were going to go with the update, they should have went with the shorter braids that he has. That would have been better, in my opinion. Um, they decided to go with that, I guess. You know, it is what it is. Kobe White. So looking at him, there's his new style right there. Uh, you can go through and see the different styles available to him just in case he cuts his hair during the season. He's known to kind of get a trim and all that stuff. So um, we'll see if that happens. Drew Holiday. Got his new style there. As you can see, he's got multiple looks as well. So keep that in mind as you're going through. There's the, or actually that's the new style right there. The first one was not. That's the new style right there. So then we go over to Kawhi Leonard. I'm not sure. I was looking at Kawhi. I can't tell what's updated. Maybe somebody else can. Um, that's better with faces than I am. Uh, I don't really know what was updated here because there's no... Uh, Ability to cycle through different looks. So I don't know what was updated there. Next up, we have Derek Lively. So Derek Lively doesn't have anything. I don't quite know what was updated with him. Maybe the, I don't know if the leg tattoo was there previously or not. Maybe that's it um, for him. Shea Gilgis Alexander is next. I'm doing all the veterans first because there's some that were not in the patch notes. Uh, we're going to get to those in just a moment. So SGA, um, not quite sure what was updated with him. Probably a tattoo or something, um, maybe. Uh, I guess is the hair updated? Um, possibly. I can't remember. I'm not the greatest with uh, the various looks on players. I do know Lou Dort got his update. That's easily, uh, you can see with him with the hair. He has the different styles, obviously, um, as well. So you can kind of change those up. But the longer hair, that kind of sticks out. So there's his update. All right, now let's look at Jonathan Kaminga. So Kaminga is here. Obviously, he got rid of the blonde hair. That's good for 2K side of things. There's his update with the short hair. So then you got the different looks there. But the short hair right there is his current look. And then last but not least, we get um, one free agent. It's a veteran free agent. So I'm going to go in order here. AJ Lawson. As you can see, AJ Lawson, his, I believe, is just uh, the hair dynamic update for him. And then maybe a tat, maybe a update to the tattoos. I'm not sure exactly. Um, but now the meat and potatoes of the update. They did not 
they they put one of these players in the patch notes. That shows that 2K does not do a great job of knowing what's going to be in the patch and what's not. So we got a good bit of rookie faces considering there were really only one in the patch notes. Let me jump to that really quickly. Darren Holmes the second gets his updated face. So there's Darren Holmes with his tattoo right there on his arm. So he looks really good. Uh, you can see his face there. Still the menu's bugged, even though they said they fixed it. Go figure. Um, but there's Darren Holmes. Now to the ones that they did not name. First up, we got Anton Watson. He's got his face update. There's Anton Watson. He also has a tattoo, as you can see there. So Anton Watson is now in the game. Next, we still have a cap face, but they did do something really cool that I did like um, in this update. They added in... Uh, it's in alphabetical order. That's why I couldn't get it. Okay. So they added in goggles to Isaiah Crawford. That's pretty cool that they added the goggles in. So now you can hopefully update the face and, uh, you know, go about however you want to do it. Let's see. Let me just do, make sure the goggles don't go away. Now the goggles are still there. So you can edit the face how you want with the goggles on. I like that. That's really cool that they added the goggles. Um, that's something that people have asked for to be an accessory that you could add on your own. Maybe in future 2Ks they could do that. That would be cool. Um, I'd like to see that. Next up, also not in the patch notes, Enrique Freeman. We know he got his scan because the Pacers social media put out that him, Tristan Newton, and Johnny Furphy all got scanned together. We were waiting on this one uh, to come through. So I'm glad to see they added it in. Sadly, they did not put it, put it in the patch notes, so a lot of people won't know it unless you're watching this video or you find it on your own as you go through. Um, but it's just interesting that they don't really update the patch notes uh, correctly, so to speak. So next up, we have for the Toronto Raptors, Ulrich Chomchi got his uh, face put in the game. So glad to see him updated as well. Um, I'm curious to see if like Ariel Hakpardi and Kevin McCuller and all those guys that have theirs locked at the moment, if they get an update, because that's usually what that means, that they'll be in a future update. So uh, curious to see if that happens. Uh, next one, we got two more. So we have for the Golden State Warriors, Quentin Post has his official face in the game now. So looks just like him. So that's a good face scan there. Obviously, most face scans are good uh, for 2K. Last but not least, not a rookie, but he doesn't really play much. Um, right now, according to Brian Keefe, he's going through conditioning to get ready. So we have Tristan Vukovic uh, in the game as well. Uh, so they updated his face. The only thing I don't like when they update their faces, they take out the original model. I would like to see them not do that and keep the other model in. But that is the face updates that I found so far. Uh, there could be more as you dive more into the roster. Some people like literally cycle through every player. Um, if you find someone that's updated, please let me know because I'm going to do a part two of this video once the roster update drops because I'll be able to go through and see if there's any other faces that get updated. Like I said, if they have the appearance tab available and they're a cap face, that means 2K has to go in and manually add their player ID. So they could put some more faces in for the roster update. Not guaranteed, but at least, you know, there's a chance. If you've got some informative, inf you know, information out of this video, please hit the thumbs up button, share this video Make sure you're subscribed to the channel as well. I'm going to have lots of videos uh, this week and next. Uh, I've got some projects I'm working on, you know, available hopefully next week. Uh, we've got the ratings update this Thursday, so that'll be another video. Um, and then next Friday, 
the PC patch comes out. So I'm hoping to see if we get a couple faces that go into the game files that possibly could be available uh, to get uh, before then. So, or before, um, you know, the, the extended window where 2K puts a actual roster update in for the retro players. I hope we get some more in. But until then, everybody have a uh, great rest of your week. Please, like I said, support the video by giving it a thumbs up, sharing the video, and also subscribe to the channel. And I will talk to you next time.